Groton, Massachusetts. A band of Native Americans, Nipmucks, attacked and destroyed Groton during King Philip's War in 1676. Many men, women and children were killed here. And it is said that the ghostly screams of those killed can still be heard if one listens closely. There is a Native American legend in uh, Hatfield close by that uh, in 1675 over 800 Native Americans were slaughtered here. And the woman who supposedly betrayed them was thrown to dogs who tore her apart. Native American attacks caused the town eventually to be abandoned in 1670, but uh, it was repopulated later on. It is a very sad story, one after another, but it is uh, a great place to explore. Hingham, Massachusetts. So in Hingham, there are remains of a settler fort. Details of exactly where this fort is are very vague. However, for diligent treasure hunter, nothing is impossible. If you figure out where this fort was located, I cannot tell you the, the rewards you might you might have from that research. Holyoke, Massachusetts. In Holyoke, many Native Americans arrowheads have been discovered. So it's a great place to explore as well. Now, uh, dinosaur tracks again. They seem to be everywhere. But here, the dinosaur tracks have been discovered on the west bank of Connecticut River. And those tracks are over 150 million years old. So, check them out. Lakeville, Massachusetts. Lakeville is the site of a Native American village as well as burial ground. Uh, Lancaster, another town, was actually attacked during King Philip's War. So those places again are, are uh, very interesting and should be uh, checked out, should be uh, it's, they're a good place to explore. Now, the town of Huntington in Massachusetts was also a skirmish site uh, in Chase Rebellion. Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts. The schooner Jenny M. Carter wrecked off Salisbury Beach in 1894. Actually, Gray's Ledge is also known as Salisbury Pinnacle. And so there goes the legend, a very good clue for us, that about $175,000 was buried in Salisbury. The details, however, are fairly vague um, as far as where exactly or who buried that. Ipswich Bay, Massachusetts. The schooner Mexican wrecked at Ipswich Bay in 1890 and coins were found washed ashore. West Lanesboro, Massachusetts. So in West Lanesboro, Baker's Quarry Cave is located and it is a 140-foot marble cave. So the solid 
Marble Cave is considered one of the most beautiful caves in New England. Uh, along uh, the border of Massachusetts and New York, there are three caves in the uh, so-called Taconic Range. And the reason why I'm referring to them is because they were used by counterfeiters. And especially the one near Lanesboro. On the western shoulder of uh, Constitution Hill, uh, the names of the caves are Crevice Cave, Counterfeiters Cave, and Belcher's Cave. The road that leads to those caves is called Silver Street because of obviously the fake silver coins that were uh, produced there. Now, Counterfeiters Cave is very interesting because there is a 75 foot tall waterfall which guards the entrance to that cave. Now, the cave actually crumbled and is inaccessible right now. And it's considered the lost cave uh, located in Pittsfield State Forest. Now, in uh, 1890s, uh, counterfeiters used to melt silver uh, to make the fake coins uh, and during a flood a slab of rock fell over the entrance of the cave and it is possible that there still might be fake silver coins uh, left in the cave. Now Crevice Cave is basically a one large opening above a brook. Constitution Hill got its name from the historical speech given there by Jonathan Smith, which is said to change the history of Massachusetts adopting a national convention. Belcher's Cave is a 30 feet long cave located on Bang Hill. Now, this cave is especially of interest because uh, this was the cave where the most brazen counterfeiters and the most important counterfeiters at that time in New England history worked there. This is where they set up shop. It is where the fake money was made and they actually named that for the leader of the group, Gil Belcher. Fake coins dated 1834 were actually found in a burlap sack by some group of boys who were in the area exploring it right on rattlesnake infested mountain. Now, in the uh, north section of Lanesboro, there was an old house called the Bradley House. This was a British headquarters in 1777 when Burgoyne's soldiers passed through. After they were defeated at Saratoga, they stopped there. And it is said that the quartermaster actually hid a bag of gold and the interesting thing is that when they returned the bag vanished and no gold was found so it's either they forgot where they have had it or somebody just took it in either case it's interesting place to explore possibly the original 
name for Pittsfield was Pontusac Plantation. And this area is, was known for a lot of attacks from Native Americans. And it is said that ghostly voices are still heard around Pontusac Lake. And that they speak in the Native American language. Now, there is another town where uh, you can go view the marble that still exists on the ground. A so-called leopard rock is found in one of the chambers, one of the rooms of the Great Cave called Great Radium Spring Marble Cave. So the water washed over the hard white marble and yellow limestone creating a white leopard with yellow spots. So this, this whole quarry, marble quarry that was there is basically a labyrinth. A white marble is found right at the beginning of the cave. Um, this cave is called Kun Hollow Cave and is found behind Laura Hill. Now, all the farmhouses in the area have disappeared, but you can still find relics of bygone area throughout this whole area. The marble mine here was used in making the capital in Washington, D.C. Also, the Berkshire County Courthouse, County Courthouse, uh, the Berkshire Athenaeum in Pittsfield, um, and Laura Hill was where the Native Americans held the great grand council meetings. So make sure you check those areas. If you enjoyed this program, please subscribe, like it, and share it.